Let's expound on some more Pac-12 expansion thoughts. Now, John Wilner of the San Jose Mercury News discussed this topic last week on the Paul Feinbaum Show. He, of course, touched on the idea that the Pac-12 needs to act on San Diego State quickly. Now, he stated, I think San Diego State's probably number one because it's a pretty good media market. And also, the Pac-12 needs to have a campus in Southern California. That is the prime recruiting territory. If they don't invite San Diego State, the Big 12 probably will. Brett Yormark's made no secret about trying to get schools in the Pacific time zone. So if San Diego State's out there and available, the Big 12 is going to take them. Now that would leave two Big 10 teams in LA and a Big 12 team in San Diego, and that would not be good for Pac-12 recruiting in Southern California. Uh, I think San Diego State is pretty much a must-add. Now, I agree with him about them needing to add San Diego State. The school is close to achieving R1 status as a premier research institution, which would certainly look good to the other administrators in the conference. But the issue of the Big 12 might not be as big of a problem as one might think. Now, I thought the same thing not that long ago. Honestly, what, a week ago? Week and a half? However long ago it was. uh, Because I did have somebody in the YouTube comments jump in and quickly correct me. Uh, But there was a report from late October, early November that stated the Big 12's new media deal with Fox and ESPN has a pro rata clause that reportedly only applies to P5 schools. Uh, What that means, basically, is the conference is only assured of a raise if they expand with another Power 5 school. So San Diego State, being a G5 school, would not force the pro rata clause to kick in. Now, the pro rata clause about P5 schools only applies to ESPN 63% of the contract, meaning that Fox won't raise their stake at all, or at least they're not obligated. Expansion does not necessarily look like it's on the table for the Big 12 in this media rights cycle unless one of these Pac-12 teams were to leave. So back to the idea of Pac-12 expansion. Now, Wilner brought up San Diego State, which makes sense, but he then brought up another school. Now, his quote from Feinbaum was this. My guess is if they went with a 12th, and they don't have to add a 12th, I don't think, because if you don't have football divisions, you could play with an odd number. But if they do add a 12th, I think SMU might be at the top of the list, Wilner said, uh, because I think that they would like to get into Dallas for recruiting and also for the media market just to kind of expand the conference footprint. Now, what a punch in the face this would be to the Big 12. To go and add a school from the same city where the Big 12 offices are located, you know that George Klyovkov would love that. I mean, his... His public feud with new Big 12 commissioner, Brett Yormark, uh, that makes this all the more likely to me. But here's where I'm questioning. The Pac-12 was always hesitant to add BYU because of their religious affiliation. SMU stands, of course, for Southern Methodist University. This would be the first Pac-12 school that I know of that's got any kind of religious affiliation. Now, SMU is a non-sectarian university, meaning it's a secular institution that is not affiliated with or restricted to a particular religious group. But it is an interesting development. SMU is also on the pathway to R1 status, which would help things from the academic side for sure. For the Pac-12, it it does make all the sense in the world. I mean, to add San Diego and Dallas. But my question is, how interested is the board of directors in expanding that far east? I mean, Dallas is 804 miles from Boulder and 1,059 miles from Tempe. Like, that's the two closest neighboring schools. Like, I'm interested in what's going to happen here as the conference likely will need to add inventory, and these two universities absolutely make sense here. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.